You know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wouldn't mind a nice, sweet, loving, you know, vampire man, woman, anybody really to just take a good look at this this neck right here. Hello, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay. Today, we're taking another look at a season overview, this time over the case study of Vanitas. Now, the historic vampire drama just finished its first season yesterday over on Funimation or Hulu, whatever you watched it on. And let me tell you that this anime actually garnered a ton of tension throughout the summer. Now, in this video, I'm gonna try to help you decide should you watch the case study of Vanitas? Should you skip it? Should you binge it? So I'm gonna tell you my opinion about it and a description of the anime kind of tell you what it's about a lot of the good things it does a lot of the bad things it does i posted a video similar to this yesterday about peach boy riverside and its first season so if you want more animes to check out maybe you want to hear how i felt about peach boy riverside make sure to go check out the i card that's popped up but before we move on to the case study of vanitas there's a timestamp right on your screen make sure if you don't want to see any spoilers maybe you just want to hear my opinion you just want to know whether you should watch it or not go to this time that's listed right here that way you don't get spoiled by anything everything is new refreshing to you when you watch it etc etc but while we wait for people to do that there are almost two-thirds of you that watch these videos that are not subscribed to the channel so please if you're watching as much as all these people are please subscribe to the channel we're almost to 500 subscribers so please if you like this make sure to stick around for more I got great anime content on this channel okay case study of Vanitas now that you're here ready to rock and roll let's go over real quick about the synopsis and what it's about. Case study of Vanitas follows a vampire named Noe. Noe. Noe? No. Noe. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to get that right. Is a vampire set out to try to find the true nature of the Book of Vanitas. Now, the Book of Vanitas throughout vampire and human heritage is said to be a book that is meant to destroy vampires with different curses. As soon as the story starts, Noe finds Vanitas, basically the owner of the book, who ends up showing Noe that he's actually actually trying to cure vampires of these curses instead of destroy them. The tale essentially follows those two in their dynamic duo-ness, trying to cure vampires and solve the mysteries of these curses. Now, let's move on to the good things that this anime does. I actually really enjoy the characters, and I got really invested in these characters and the different dynamics that they present in each other throughout the story. For example, Noe and Vanitas. Especially in the beginning, I'm pretty pretty sure they say outright that they cannot stand each other. But especially at the very end of the season, they make it very clear that these two characters really, even though they kind of find each other annoying and overwhelming and all that stuff, they find each other interesting and definitely like want to learn more about them. And truthfully, their pickle towards each other is uh, one of the more entertaining duos that I've found this season. They each have their own character arcs that are actually very interesting and make you more invested in those characters throughout the season and despite those arcs and things like that they still don't always see eye to eye which in my opinion gives a level of intensity throughout the season if we talk about character dynamics we have to talk about vanitas and gene they just make me squirm and i just it's a it's a weird aspect of romance that i i've never wanted to ship two characters more than those two just gene needs to just figure out that she absolutely loves Vanitas and they just need to get married and have a life together or whatever. Even though Vanitas is like, I could never love someone that loves me. I don't, it's so weird, but it's so good. But going back to the main topic of the dynamics between characters, it is also the dynamic between humans and vampires as well as vampires and vampires. You know, in the history of this show, before the time that you see in the anime, the vampires and the humans fought in a raging war. And so naturally, there's this distrust between humans and vampires generally because the humans thought for the most part that the vampires pretty much vanished. And so being different, that's obviously scared of them. We talked about this the other day with Peach Boy Riverside about just how differences in the races lead to massive tension between the different races. But not only that, there's the intensity and the dynamics between vampires and vampires as well. We see throughout there that not only with curse spare vampires but also some slyness i'm looking at you redhead eye patch man it's difficult on who exactly to trust and you have to cast
cast aside your old beliefs and teaching that was brought down to you. And this sort of expanding your mindset, having an open mindset is even shown in kind of supporting characters. Most apparent being probably Roland, originally wanting to kill basically every single vampire now towards the end of the story has had a change of heart and been like, oh, maybe not all vampires are bad. These dynamics keep the first season very fresh in my opinion and always, especially with their jokes that they jab in there and throw in there, it makes it to be pretty entertaining. Also keeps me light on my toes. If we gotta talk about good things though, we gotta talk about how Bones produce another quality anime. They've been around for a long time producing very, very popular stuff, including Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, and Brotherhood, My Hero Academia, Mob Psycho 100, all super, super popular franchises. There are honestly several instances throughout this anime that really made me just go, whoa, like this is beautiful. I'm not going to give you too many examples because I don't want to spoil the awe for you. Two great examples, in my opinion, are in episode one, especially right away, the airship that they're flying in. Just the quality of detail that you see in that airship as they're flying to Paris is just jaw-dropping in itself in both the manga and the anime. But also Vanitas using the Book of Vanitas is just a beautiful set of animation and colors and just really like pops in your eyes. I mean, that scene in itself just makes you sit there after it's over and be like, all right, when's the next time he's cured a vampire? Because I kind of want to see that again. What also strikes me is one of the things that I love about this series is the manga and the art in it is super, super beautiful. Like it's probably one of the best mangas in terms of art that I've come across so far. And then when you relate it back to the anime, the anime feels like the exact same. Like it really feels that someone took the manga, scanned it into like the anime and boom, it's like, it's almost like a perfect copy. One thing about the animation that I actually really appreciate when it comes to these different animes is especially something a little bit more serious, like the case study of Anitas being like a drama and have some intensity. Sometimes it has some really goofy and animation for a comedic standpoint that always makes me laugh i just love when we see those little goofy moments of like huh because it kind of brings me like back down to reality to remind me that i'm watching this entertainment like i should be entertained and it also doesn't give me white knuckles moving on to the next point i actually like want to give this the notion of the best music this season that i've watched so far zero by lmyk is so good like i i literally every time i pull up my binge spotify playlist that has all the different songs that i've listened to in anime all the intros and outros i literally have to play that song like every time now the opening on the other hand the opening song sora to utsuro is good i mean it's a good it's not like a great song like the ending theme zero but it's still a pretty good song i think the best part about the opening theme in that is the song fits very very well with the animation and what they showcase in the opening the opening does a great job showcasing the different characters and also kind of the the quirky sides of their relationship like the most memorable thing about the opening scenes is the spinning around in the fountain like it's so beautiful and it's so fun you it kind of shows their relationship of like their buddies that can't really like stand each other at some points but in the end they kind of care for each other and so i think that's the biggest point of how i feel like this is probably one of the best opening closings of anime this season and can we talk about the season finale that aired yesterday because my gosh it felt like really intense but also like really low-key like i actually think they did a great job in the season finale setting up part two that was just actually announced for january 2022 like i have so many questions like first of all is gene okay we know that gene went with august ruthven after vanitas basically bailed her to make sure that noe was okay but like is is she okay like we know that august ruthven is not a great dude so and with the connection of gene and vanitas like i just i just worry about her and then it also did a really good job that even throughout the 12 episodes in the journey that vanitas and noe has gone through noe still has like the vampire urge to like taste his blood especially because his blood was exposed trying to help out gene and so it showcases like i mentioned earlier that sometimes they don't necessarily see 
see eye to eye and the chemistry is not perfect by any means. And then building off of that into the next season, does that chemistry not being perfect play a factor because we saw in episode 11 at the end slash episode 12 in the beginning no way made that promise under the control of august ruthven to do whatever he says when that one time comes which i assume is going to be like i don't know taking trying to kill vanitas if i had to take a guess i don't know that for sure but also leading into the next kind of arc of part two the beast of gavada Gavadon, Gavadon, Givadon, Jevudon, the Beast of Jevudon, like, and then the teaser of Chloe, a new character in the anime, obviously going to be an important part of part two. After the credits, if you watch that far, like, ah, I just, I want more. <laughs> but just because I've brought a lot of good points of the anime and a lot of good things that it does, it's not a perfect anime by any means. And what I mean by that is even though I highly respect this anime and I put it on a high pedestal, the story is average. It's good. Like it's enjoyable, but it's not as good as every other aspect. Like every other aspect is so good that it makes it easy to overlook the story itself. I mean, think about it. It's humans versus vampires. Okay, that's not necessarily original. There's hate slash discrimination, uh, all that stuff between the two races. Okay, not that original. We just talked about that yesterday with Beach Boy Riverside. And it almost feels like the entire first season in terms of the story is just like set up. Which don't get me wrong, can be a good thing, but like I didn't really get like super invested into listening to the story until like episode eight or nine which is like three fourths of the way through the first season now they don't have to go too far too crazy into the story into the plot line because they're not even done with the manga yet the manga is ongoing as of right now it currently has nine volumes in japan eight volumes in the rest of the world if you want to collect this like myself as well as what i could find four chapters that are not in a book yet so kind of the big question that i have is like can season two follow it up well like now that we've got a whole season of dynamics and beauty and stuff throughout that first part can part two have the same thing but not feel repeated i'll give you a quick example of what i mean by that so what i mean by characters not feeling repeated after time and time and time again throughout seasons a good example is miss kobayashi's dragon maid in slice of life and stuff where there's no like kind of real big plot it just kind of follows that day-to-day -day life and it can get stale very quickly if you're not creative enough to continue throwing in like new dynamics or new situations and stuff you got to be really careful not to repeat things i think part two can do well at least and throughout the rest of the time because in part one the dynamics sort of evolved especially even though they kind of still stayed the same if that makes sense but going back into part two coming out in january in 2022 and the story continues to evolve does it become intense like right off the bat or is it going to be like season one where i'm not going to get interested until 75 percent of the way through the season like now that i'm already convinced and invested in the characters and stuff and things like that that season one kind of had to do does part two really focus and hone in more on the story okay now that you either skipped to this point or you made it this far in the video i'll just give you my overall opinion right now this may be my number one summer anime and i know i know we've got a lot of good anime this season including tokyo avengers detectives already dead reincarnated as a slime season two part two dragon made s like there's a lot of good anime that's come out i mean a lot of people will say that this is an underwhelming summer but there's still some good points and truthfully the only reason i started watching this anime is i came across it by accident i was actually finishing up hori mia on hulu and then after the final episode of hori mia it was like uh, case study vanitas is gonna play next and i accidentally let it go and so i just decided to keep watching and i was like you know what this sounds cool I'll just keep watching it week by week. And so when you find something by accident, almost like that, well, like it wasn't anybody that actually influenced me to watch it. Nobody recommended it to me except Hulu. It just resonates like so much harder and it is so much more enjoyable when you find it for yourself, for example. It's similar to how I feel about weathering with you. I picked up this manga not knowing anything about it. I just thought, you know, like the back had a good description and the cover was cool looking. And it turns out to be one of my favorite stories, especially after I watched the movie too. I've mentioned this a couple times already, but season one, part two has been announced coming out in January, 2022. And if you want to get into the case study of Vanitas, I highly recommend doing it before part two comes out. So then you can 
kind of say spoiler free when that does come out to an extent. I watched it personally on Hulu, but you can watch it on Funimation. And honestly, I highly encourage you to read the manga as well, at least through the first volume. Admittedly, this is only as far as I've gone because money, but at least through the first volume, things stayed relatively the same. And honestly, there's just so many beautiful panels in here. I'll put a couple of them on screen for you to look at, but it's absolutely stunning this art in this story. And so, yeah, personally, I gave this anime a nine out of 10 because I thought it was great. The only reason I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because of what I mentioned with the story. I wasn't super encapsulated in the story until like the end of the season, which I think looking at how it's going to play out or guess that it's going to play out, I think that's going to be okay for the overall series. So if you like this video, make sure again, please leave a like and a comment about how you feel about this anime if you're even interested and then also make sure to subscribe for more content i got a couple videos up here and playlists as well all about anime that i think you should go watch and enjoy and uh, also the next couple days are going to be intense because we're going to go over tokyo avengers detective is already dead girlfriend girlfriend slime comes out with the season finale dragon maid comes out with the season finale star wars visions has their opener that I'm going to watch and kind of react to and show you. So a lot of good stuff upcoming. So I hope to see you in the next video. Keep watching anime.